U.S. issue western water cuts as drought leave Colorado rivers near tipping points. After western U.S. states failed to reach agreement to reduce water used from the Bellagir Colorado River, the federal government stepped in on Tuesday, using cut that will affect two states and Mexico. Official with the Bureau of Reclamation declare a tire two shortage in river basin as the drought continues to pummel the American West, pushing its largest reservoirs to new lows. The warning water level, which have left dramatic bathtub rings in reservoirs and unherded buried bodies and other artifacts, continue to threaten hydroelectric power production, drinking water, and agricultural production. The system is approaching a tipping point. The Borough of Reclamation Commissioner M. Camille Camilim Tutun said during a news conference on Tuesday, adding that urgent action was required. Protecting the system means protecting the people of the American West. The new cuts will reduce Arizona's water shared by 21 percent, Nevada by 8 percent, and Mexico by 7 percent. But officials are concerned more reductions will be needed. The cuts will place officials in those states under extraordinary pressure to plan for a hotter, drier future and growing population. The Colorado River provides water to 40 million people across seven states in America West, as well as Mexico, and help feed an agricultural industry value at $15 billion a year. The sprawling system provides water to Colorado, Wyoming, Utah, New Mexico, California, Nevada, and Arizona before it flows into Mexico. The right to these water have been debated for decades after agreements carved out a century ago failed to accurately account for the water in the system and created a maze of junior and senior water rights that left out indigenous nation. But the most contentious period is likely to lie ahead. The climate crisis is expected to continue to intensify its condition prompting the need for deeper cuts and conservation. Cities and farms across the regions are already anxious, awaiting officials' hydrology projections, estimates of future water levels in the river that will determine the extents and scope of cuts to their water supply. Hundreds of thousands of acres of U.S. farmland is expected to be left fallow across the country's breadbasket putting a crunch on food products domestically. The states collectively have not identified and adopted specific action of sufficient magnitude that would stabilize the system, Tatoon said. Tatoon has said the additional reduction is necessary to ensure that water delivers and hydroelectric power are not disrupted. She was non-commissional on Tuesday about whether she planned to impose those cut unlaterally if the state could not reach agreement. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.